The well-known tool known as Turismura lets you downgrade an iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, SE first generation, iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus, and I, any iPad account in 2019, 15, and 16 can be downgraded back to its original version. But what if I do it on an iPhone 6? Yeah, an iPhone 6 that isn't even supported. Now, what, why would I do this? Because the iPhone 6 has the exact same processor, um, <clears throat> secure enclave processor as the iPhone 6S and 7. So in theory, it should work, but um, I do not expect this to work because as I said, um, it isn't officially supported. So yeah, I've been waiting for an A8 exploit. So as you can see, this is my iPhone 6. Um, this is a space gray version. I got this for free from one of my church pastors. And um, th she said that, yeah, you could take it. I don't really need it anymore. Um, she was going to donate it, but now I'm. No, she wasn't. As you can see here, I did try to actually jailbreak it, but unfortunately, Chimera just stopped. Bruh. Okay. And it was uh, Chimera stopped working. And personally, I said, I do I do really like it, um, Chimera jailbreaking, but as you can see here, it fails every almost every single time. It's very... Why does it have to do that? It succeeds when I... Nevertheless, um, yeah, I'm probably ranting by now, but nonetheless, what I'm trying to tell you guys is that um, this thing has the exact same secure enclave processor as the iPhone 6S and iPhone 7. So I'm going to try the exploit, um, the boot ROM exploit to downgrade my iPhone 6 down to iOS um, 8.2. Yeah, you can see here, this is my jailbroken theme. This is just rounded icons and stuff. And of course, it has to work on camera. So that's what I'm going to bring you guys with that. I'm plan I was going to plan to do this myself, but I think it would be a great opportunity if I were to do this with you guys. So let's get started, shall we? But um, here's the iPhone. So we're going to be doing this on the iPhone 6, I mentioned. So I'm going to plug this into the Mac Pro. Because we're this is x86 architecture. So this is a Mac Pro 5,1 cheese grater. Um, still the legend in 2025. Along with that, I'm going to show my screen recording. So, um, in order to do this, we're going to need the terminal. So, I'm going to open up terminal here. Yep, as you can see here, it's going to run everything. Yep, Lovex Text Mac Pro. So, and I'm going to actually... Oh, <clears throat> I thought my monitor darkened for a sec, but no less. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to um, type in CD and I'm going to drag and drop the terrorist Merrill folder. And now I am going to um, type in this root command. Oh wait, and we have to, but first we have to put in the device into DFU. Zero, one, two, three. Kids weren't, there's nothing important in this device. Device, so eight. So yeah, so there's like no like personal files and stuff on this iPhone 6S. So, uh, yeah, and I'm also going to try to hide the serial number as much as possible so you guys won't see the actual number. So you guys won't, like, lock the phone itself because I've heard people have been using the checkmate exploit to change the serial numbers with real device numbers and actually locking the phones themselves. So, yeah, I'm going to try both methods in case you're wondering, both the A10 and the A9. So I'm going to try the A9. You can't see the instructions right now, but I can confirm that I am um, doing the instructions. So if I bring, um, oh crap, it's in full screen. Yeah, it's in full screen. If I can bring this here, as you can see here, this is um, what I'm following the tutorial, what I am following. So yeah, in case you are worrying that I am not following the tutorial, I am indeed following the tutorial. So again, as you can see here, now I'm gonna go type in the way to put this into Pune DFU. Let's go, moment truth. Ah, oh, unsupported device. Yeah, so that's a bit of a shame. So what if I do the A10 thing? Yeah, still the same thing. So unfortunately, yeah, but what if I put this into DFU mode with legacy iOS kit? So I'm going to go here and I'm going to use Legacy iOS Kit. I 
type in Fash. And I'm going to go into Legacy iOS Kit and I'm going to go to Restore.sh. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this should probably let me um, put this phone into QMD of you. Oh, okay. I guess I have to. There you go. So now it should probably just um, do it again. Yep, check for updates, normal mode, game device info. Yep, iPhone 6. And now I'm going to go to useful utilities and I am going to click enter on enter Pune DFU mode. There you go. Pune, it's now in Pune DFU mode without using tourist Merla. So let's go grab the SHC block for the iPhone. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to drag and drop the IPSW4. Up. Uh, yeah, it does say it's the phone device in Tune DFU. So if I like go back to a legacy iOS kit, it should probably say it's in Tune DFU. Oh, it's in DFU. Let's go re enter. Yep. Yeah. Device seems to be already in Pune DFU mode. So unfortunately, it is not possible to put um, to downgrade an iPhone 6 regular to iOS 8. You're going to need something like Semaphore, which is prone to failure, unfortunately. So yeah, but I can indeed say I have tried. And I will try to do another method to downgrade A8 another time. But nevertheless, yeah, as I said, um, I can indeed confirm it works on iOS 9 and the iPhone 6s. Heck, I've even done tutorials on like um, get rid of the activation error thing. So yeah, so it's just a little little like tutorial on like little funsies thing. So I'm gonna talk about what we have learned. All right, so what have I learned? Well, um, legacy. Oh, sorry, I'm already have my glasses on. Um, <clears throat> legacy iOS kit um, detects where your device is. Um, Joe can come in one sec, see if it'll fail this time. And it does not fail, yeah. Hmm, maybe I should probably whip out the camera when I want to jailbreak my iPhone 6. Now, the last one I'm trying to get to tell you guys that is a legacy iOS kit has an inbuilt detection thing where it de detects the inbuilt SM BIOS of the iPhone and it says, okay, um, iPhone 7, 2 is the iPhone 6. Um, we're not programmed to do the iPhone 6, so therefore, um, we're not going to let the user downgrade to the operating system. Not to say it isn't compatible, because as a, it's, it has the exact same secure enclave processor as, one second, let's go grab it, the iPhone 6S. Um, I have mine in the box, because this thing has a pristine screen. This means we're currently running iOS 15 right now. I upgraded back to iOS 15, so I can, like, jailbreak it and stuff. But I will downgrade it to iOS um, 9. But yeah, as I said, the differences between iPhone 6 and 6S are very, very minor, in case you're wondering. So if you want to downgrade, just get yourself an iPhone 6S. And is, as you can see here, the one difference I'd say is just the 3D touch. So if you like hold down an icon, as you can see, or just do nothing and just say, um, and do that. But yeah, I also have uh, iPhone 10 gestures here in case you're wondering. And yeah, as you can see, it has now loaded. And yeah, as you can see, I've also jailbroken this iPhone with dopamine. So yeah, <laughs> I totally upgrade all my iPhones to support dopamine. So yeah, maybe I might try to find another solution to downgrade the iPhone 6 um, to iOS 8. Point two. I don't care if it's tethered. I don't care if it's untethered. I don't even care if it's semi-tethered. I just care about getting this iPhone 6 back up and running on iOS 8. But yeah, as I said, we give it a little try. iOS, it does not support the iPhone 6 or any A8 devices. So if you're going to try it, I don't personally, um, you plan to try it on your iPhone 6, 6 um, <clears throat> there you go. So as I said, Thank you so much for watching. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot, a lot if we can reach 400 subscribers. 
we're already around like 300 or so so if we could get to up to 400 that would be an, an absolute honor and yeah for now i'm the vex tech thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video